also this week, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel, do you know who that is? Uh, that's an American bloke. Yeah, some American bloke um, who runs a TV show, like a talk show, yeah. if you will. Uh, pretty big in America, not so big over here. I don't even think it's shown on telly over here. But we do get his YouTube channel, which I had a look at. Because this week, there was a Force Awakens special on it. So there's a bunch of cool stuff that was going on. Uh, including, there's a there's sort of like a running thing between um, that he's had Harrison Ford on a couple of times, uh, and... Did you see when he was on, Harrison, I think Harrison Ford was on there, yeah. and he burped. I don't think I did see that. Harrison Ford went on dressed as a hot dog. <laughs> he dressed as, no, he was dressed as a dog, dressed as a hot dog. Right. And he was talking about what an amazing experience it was to work on The Force Awakens and return to the Star Wars universe, which I think he's kind of reappreciated as yeah, he's got older. Yeah, seems like. And uh, then mid-answer, just to cap it off, he does a little burp. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I did see the sort of thing he did with Chewie where it was kind of like Chewie slept with his wife and there was this sort of like feud and they settled that feud this week, uh, which is quite, was quite, quite funny, it's all right. But there's some other cool stuff as well. So there's a, it's quite a big interview with JJ uh, Abrams. I don't call him by his first name because I don't know him. No. Um, but, and with a bunch of the other cast as well. And one of the cool things that comes up, other than John Boyega doing an amazing impression of his dad. I think the most interesting thing was telling my dad. So I went home and I was like, Dad, I've just been cast in Star Wars. And he was just like, oh my God, you are in Star Wars? <laughs> that is fantastic, I knew it. What is Star Wars? <laughs> he talks to Adam Driver and he says, you know, we've seen a lot of trailers, you've had your helmet on the entire time. Does that mean we're not going to see your face in The Force Awakens? Mm. And he kind of looks sheepishly at uh, JJ and is just like, oh, I don't know if I can say anything. And Abram says, there were scenes where it didn't need to be Adam, but it was always him. First of all, that could suggest, right, that he does take his helmet off because in this, obviously there were scenes where it needed to be him. But also, that I reckon that could also mean just scenes where he's standing in the background and things like that. Yeah. I don't think that quote directly means that we definitely get to see his face. Doesn't direct, I don't think it pushes it exactly one way or the other. What would you do if I was wearing out all the time? It would be awful. It'd be a rubbish show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think that quote pushes it one way or the other. I think, if anything, I read that as there are scenes where it does need to be Adam, i.e. that could just be dialogue heavy. Yeah. But the thing is, they're not recording dialogue through that. That's all going to be in post. He's going to have to do audio pickups. With yeah, that like Bane. Yeah, I think so. And obviously a lot of people were going, oh, obviously we've seen Adam Driver without the helmet on, yeah. but that's in the Vanity Fur spread, which exactly, yeah. could be just an on-set picture. This is be behind the scenes thing, yeah. He yeah. could just, well, it's, like I mean, there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff going on, and we see Annie Leibovitz like, taking shots of people not while they're filming scenes and things like that, like quite candid photos. I think it's just one of those. He's just taking off. He's a bit hot, mate. You can't have that on all the time. His agent would not allow it. But I don't know, I, maybe we're not gonna see his face. But why? But also, why are they being so weird about it? Like, if it was that, they could just say, yeah, well, you get to see his face, he takes his helmet off, it's fine. It's not a big deal. It must be a big deal. There must be a reveal. There must be something yeah. big under that helmet. It's Luke. Well, maybe just, like, Abram just wants to stoke the speculation. Because as soon as you give a definite answer on anything, yeah. speculation ceases. Yeah, and it's just true, kind of It's just kind of good to, like, if, oh, if I was JJ Abrams, Great, obviously. Yeah. But you, you, I just want to answer anything. I'll go off, maybe. Would you still be doing this show if you were JJ Abrams? Um, I don't know. Probably, I'll probably find time. I'd like to think you. I'll probably have a PA just to confirm. <laughs> Book it in. <laughs>